inside and out and love strange so real in the dark think of the tender things that we were working on slow change may pull us apart when a life gets in your heart baby don't you forget about me Saturday, March 23rd, 2013, Conoquit Regional High School, Lakeville, Massachusetts. Dear Mr. Patota, we accept the fact that we had to sacrifice a whole Saturday in detention for whatever it is we did wrong. What we did was wrong, but we think you're crazy to make us write an essay telling you who we think we are. What do you care? You see us as you want to see us, in simplest terms, the most convenient definitions. You see us as an artist, an eco-freak, an optimist, an AV nerd, an athlete, a music geek, and a brain. Correct? That's the way we saw each other at 7 o'clock this morning. You are brainwashed. Can't believe I'm here. Okay, welcome to Saturday Detention. We need to go over the ground rules first. Ground rules are simple. There's no eating, there's no sleeping. How many times have you seen like this? Okay, at least there's five no times. talking. I only saw it like four times, but it was beautiful every time I like saw him. Oh my god, I saw it so hard that old people asked me if I was okay. <laughs> there's no talking. There's no doing nothing during Saturday Detention. The one thing you will do is go over a thousand word essay about yourself, explaining who you are. It needs to be done by the end of today. If it's not done by the end of today, I'll see you back here next Saturday. Any questions? Now one thing you've got to remember, and you better be thinking about this today, is if you mess with the bull, you get the horns. Capiche?
So what are you even here for? Don't you do like everything right, straight A's, all that perfect stuff? I corrected a teacher and he got really mad at me. In a class, a bus is traveling at 50 kilometers an hour in a northerly, southerly direction. If there are seven clowns on that bus, each with a weight of roughly 75 kilograms, and the fuel that is consumed is at a rate of 10 liters per kilogram per kilometer, how many liters of fuel are going to be used on a hundred kilometer trip? <laughs> okay, so uh, since there are seven clowns and since there's 10 liters a kilogram, uh, and they weigh 75, but they're going 100 minus 50, the answer comes to 64. Actually, the answer is 1,487.2 liters. There is no such thing as a north-south direction, and seven clowns would not be in a bus, they'd be in a car. Alex, you know something? You're wrong, and you have an attention! Whoa. Hold the phone. She's in here for correcting a teacher. Guys, I think we have the next criminal. I can be that way to her. We all know why you're in here. I haven't even bullied you before. You're so talented and then you're going to be on Broadway, but in reality, you're going to be living in your car as a hobo. You're so dumb. Do you really think you're going to save the world? You're only one person. How are you doing your layups, dork? There's no wonder why you didn't make the basketball team. Go back to writing your fan fiction. You're such a social reject. Do you even have a date to the prom? No? That's what I thought. I think you're gonna be in the next James Cameron of movies, but in reality, I'm gonna find your films in the free movie section on DirecTV. You think the world's all rainbows and butterflies, but you're gonna have to grow up one day. Yay, catch! Seriously, what? At least it's not as lame as what Josh did. What did you do? I threw textbooks in the recycle bin. That's kind of lame, Josh. At least I was trying to make a documentary about teachers and I got caught filming one without their permission. Are you filming me? Well, I composed this beautiful song about how teachers suck and I guess I didn't like it. Teachers suck, yeah, they You guys probably haven't heard of why I'm in here today. I composed this very esoteric piece of artwork on a locker and apparently the man didn't like it. I guess we're all pretty darn stupid, especially you guys. God, I'm wicked hungry. I have some candy in my locker. Whoa! Hi, guys. Wait, what are you doing here? I couldn't find detention. Why do you have a detention? Well. I picked a flower from Mr. Muse's garden, and I don't think he was having a really good day today. This way. Are you sure this is okay? Don't be a wuss. This is so mainstream. Oh my god, you're such a hipster. Oh my god, I can't believe you have candy. I'm like kidding. I know, I'm like starving. Ugh.
What do I do with the candy? Put it in my pants. Okay. Dear Mr. Potato, we accept the fact that we had to sacrifice a whole Saturday in attention for whatever it is we did wrong, but we think you're crazy to make us write an essay telling you who we think we are. You see us as you want to see us, in simplest terms, the most convenient definitions. But what we found out is that each one of us is an artist, an eco-freak, an optimist, an AV nerd. An athlete, a music geek, and a brain. Does that answer your question? Sincerely yours, The Brunch Club. Oh